Stanley Johnson likes to laugh and sing. And at age one, her parents are grateful she can do those things. At first, we were told that there was no treatment, no cure. Um, there was nothing we could do but take her home and love her. Tenley was diagnosed with spinal muscular atrophy at three months old. They told us that her, she was missing a gene that helped to um, control her muscles and eventually her muscle cells just atrophy and die. And so she won't be able to do, you know, regular everyday things like turning her head, lifting her head, moving her arms, moving her legs. Um, breathing, eating, swallowing, talking, but thankfully she said her first word at seven months and it was Dada hmm. and she d hasn't stopped since. <laughs> A clinical trial in Columbus at Nationwide Children's Hospital has given her family hope. We're extremely happy with everything that she's doing. I mean, every little thing is huge for us. Don't do it. Don't do it? Is that what you said? Don't do it? Basically, we found out to be found it to be a safe procedure, and we anticipate, as opposed to other forms of treatment, that the the major advantage of gene therapy is it can be a one-time injection. Researchers developed the gene therapy treatment at Children's Research Institute. So, in 2009, my laboratory made a discovery on the aspect that we had a gene therapeutic that targeted the motor neurons that are affected in spinal muscular atrophy extremely effectively. The application also has the potential to reach beyond SMA patients. AV9 with, that we're using in the SMA trial um, has unique features that allow it to, be, to cross the blood-brain barrier. The fact that this works gets into the nervous system and gets into the nerve cells and corrects a defect in the nerve cells means that that same thing could happen for any variety of, of uh, neurologic disease. For families like the Johnsons, the hope is to save babies with SMA. I would love to see a day when, you know, even though it's rare, that every newborn will be screened for SMA and there will be a treatment. As soon as they're diagnosed, you know, they can get this treatment and it'll stop the progression or cure them even, you know. So that's what we really hope for. Yeah, and we really want, want to help in making that happen.